can we say on page 94 is particularly interesting to me because uh, this sets out a very sexist opportunity and predicts the improvement of demand in the areas of investment, for example, around the financial professional services. And you'll have this, this in mind when you decide where to where the, you decide where the, this investment should take place. On what basis was that information obtained in terms of uh, future projected employment in those key sectors? <coughs> exciting program Sue, but um, are we you know have you got any kind of um, uh, advanced sort of information are, are schemes being kind of developed are we confident we'll have a good pipeline of projects coming through when we launch this this fund as, as part of the growth deal process we did consult with colleges in particular to see if there were any projects out there and, and there are um, you know some have been there for a while some are, are more some new ideas coming forward um, and because we've kept the providers informed throughout the process they still indicated that they, you know, there will be sufficient um, schemes to come forward. There will be more about updating existing facilities um, rather than big new major schemes and, and probably that will be as much about something that's available within the sector because they don't have to match some of this on a two to one ratio as Okay, any other any other questions for Sue? No, if not, um, can I thank Sue for the presentation and can I ask members, can we agree the recommendations in the report at paragraph two? They agreed? Thank you very much. Okay, um, sticking with employment and skills, we've got item 10, uh, Liverpool City Region Employment and Skills Board. Um, uh, refresh, and, and this is Sue again, please.
Thank you, Sue. Um, right, so, questions, members, comments? Ronnie? Okay, so any other comments, members? So we're being asked to, uh, Sue's gone, uh, summarise the membership, terms of reference, you, you've seen the detail in the report, so the recommendations uh, for this refresher in paragraph um, or section two, can we agree those recommendations, members? They agree? Thank you very much. Thanks, Sue. Okay, that then takes us um, on to item number 11, uh, which is the review of um, combined authority um, arrangements. Uh, I think we always said when we set up the combined authority that we would need to uh, undertake a review, and uh, David, David Brown's going to take us through this report. David? Thanks, Jeff. Um, yeah, that's quite right. So when we created the combined authority in April 2014, it was agreed that within the first year we would carry out a review of the working arrangements. I think a number of the reports today have highlighted the need to review both working arrangements, uh, which the Employment and Skills Board have already done, but also reviewing um, how we got the right capacity in the right places within the working arrangements um, to make sure that we can deliver on those commitments we've heard about today. There's no doubt that we've been very successful in the last year in delivering uh, funding bids and securing funding. And to maintain that success, we need to ensure that the governance, the working arrangements, and the capacity uh, are fit for purpose. Um, it's intended that we carry out a fairly speedy uh, review of those arrangements uh, through the Chief Executive's uh, group uh, to ensure that those working arrangements are fit for purpose. So we're intending to do that um, in March this year and then bring back any recommendations to the combined authority in time for any changes, particularly to constitutional agreements to be included uh, within the AGA in June. So we intend to work through uh, both the uh, Chief Executive's groups and the individual subgroups, although the Employment Skills have concluded their review to do that uh, in a timely fashion to report back uh, in, during uh, the period of the, the new financial year for uh, any recommendations to the AGM and chair. So the recommendations are essential to the Thank you, David. Um, makes sense? We happy with with those proposals? So <coughs> um, recommendations are in our item two. Uh, so can we formally agree that members agree? Thank you very much. Thank you, David. Okay, um, our, our final item, I just need to, uh, item 12, the, the, the minutes of the Mersey Travel Committee held on the 11th of December of last year. <clears throat> can I just ask members if we can confirm these minutes? They confirmed? Thank you very much. Okay, that concludes the, the business. I've not been informed of any other urgent items of business. 
Um, so I just need to uh, say thank you, everybody, for your attendance, contribution to the meeting. Uh, can I just remind you that the next meeting of the Command Authority will be at 11 a.m. Um, on Friday the 13th of February, so I hope that's not um, a bad omen, but Friday the 13th at 11 o'clock. However, one final item um, I do need to draw your attention to before we close. Um, this is Carol Hudson's last meeting. Um, I, I'm told it's your last meeting before you retire, Carol, uh, Chief Executive St. Helens. And it would be remiss, I think, of, of us if we didn't record our, our sincere thanks to Carol, not just for the uh, fantastic work you've done at St. Helens over many years, but also your contribution to the Liverpool City region. Um, in, in a whole range of different policy areas, I know you've, you know, you've done a, a lot of fantastic work in housing. I know you supported me a great deal in the European funding agenda, which has uh, always got its challenges. But um, um, you know, I think we need to say that you know you, you will you do leave a, a real kind of uh, lasting legacy, both both at St Helens uh, and the city region. And and, and Mike. Um, uh, Palin as, as your successor. Um, I'm sure Michael will do a, a fantastic job, but he's got a really hard act to follow, <laughs> can I say. Um, so, Carol, um, can I just say on behalf of, I'm sure, everybody in this room, um, a big thank you to you for, for, for your work over the years. And, um, you know, really very best wishes for your, for your retirement. Thank you very much, Carol. Thank you. Okay, folks, can I thank you for your attendance and close the meeting? Thank you.